Welcome back, scholars, and today we are on the subject of subjects and predicates in inverted order. So let me say, first of all, inverted basically means flipped. That is the easiest way for me to tell you anything about the subject that we're looking at today. So first off, we haven't talked about this so far, but you've been learning about sentences in natural order. Natural order means that you have the subject first and then you have the predicate. There's an alternative to that and it's called inverted order, where the predicate comes before the subject. <clears throat> Remember that I said inverted means flipped. If we normally have subject and predicate, inverted order just means predicate before subject. There are a couple different ways that you can have that in a sentence. Um, <clears throat> and some of they're not all that uncommon, um, although we don't just we just generally don't think about how we're making sentences with inverted order. Let's take a look at, first off, the sentences we were looking at last time, where we have sentences like, I really like grammar, you scared me, and remember we have our subject and then we have our predicate. Well, as you can probably anticipate, we're going to see the opposite of that today in order to have some inverted order sentences. Let's take a look at these. Again, we're going to ask ourselves what's the verb and who or what is doing the action of that. Away scampered the puppy. What's the verb? It's scampered. And who scampered? The puppy scampered. Now, I can't just put my line dividing in front of my verb because my subject is coming afterwards. So if I have a sentence like this, I need to decide what's the complete subject and the complete predicate. Well, the puppy would be the complete subject, all the words of the who or what, and scampered away would be all the words of the predicate. So my dividing line will actually go here behind the verb instead of in front of it. Into the box went the books. What's the verb? It's went. What went? The books went into the box. And again, my line would go right behind my verb. Through, to, through the tunnel went the car. What went? Or sorry, what's the verb? Went. And what went? The car went. Um, so you can see kind of a, a pattern forming here. Head over heels tumbled the gymnast. My predicate has to come in front of my subject in order to have an inverted order sentence. The last sentence is a little bit trickier. Have you read that book? What's the verb? Read is a verb, but actually have is a verb word as well. I've got a verb phrase here. So have is a helping verb. Read is a main verb. Who has read? You. You have read. So here I've got a, verb, a subject word in between verb words. Because I have a verb word in front of a subject word, I've got predicate and then subject. So I've got an inverted order sentence. And you'll notice that it ends with a question mark. If I have sentences like this, where a verb, a, a, sorry, a subject word is stuck in between verb phrase, that's an easy way that I can form a question in English. Now actually, if you've been looking at inversion in French, Inversion's even easier in French because you don't have to have a verb phrase and it's one of the easiest ways to make questions. If you don't know how to do inversion in French, ask me a little question about it. I'll give you a little demonstration and you can totally impress your French teacher next French class. Uh, what do you do if you need to make your own inverted order sentences? Well, three things that make it pretty easy. If you ha have a prepositional phrase or sometimes just an adverb, if you and of course you need a verb and a subject to complete your sentence so you'll notice in these sentences for example into the box through the tunnel prepositional phrases away technically is an adverb here so I, I need to start with something I shouldn't start with my verb but I need to have something that's happening or somewhere it's going and then my verb and then uh, my subject after it um, if I think about just regular sentences and trying to make those inverted order sentences. If I say, for example, grammar like I really, what does that mean? I don't know. And me scared you sounds like I'm a two-year-old that doesn't know what they're talking about. There are some sentences that kind of work this way. Amazing is that book. Uh, sounds a little bit like Yoda talking and it kind of works because it's got a linking verb here. And remember back to subject pronouns with linking verbs where I say things like the detectives were we. We is the subject were is the verb. The detectives were we is technically in inverted order. Um, or if I say it is I or it was I who found the keys, was is the verb, I is the subject, technically an inverted order sentence because of that linking verb in there. 
weird as those linking verbs make things. So again, find an inverted, uh, find a prepositional phrase or adverb, make up a verb and subject to go with it, and you've got your own inverted order sentence. Once again, natural order is what we usually use, inverted order besides that. Inverted order sentences show up more often in things like poetry, um, but also in questions, and they're not actually all that rare. If you know what you're looking for, I bet that you'll come across some in your reading or even your own writing in the next couple of days. All right, scholars, enough talk. Go give it a try on your own.